recapturing land from Daesh is not the end. Ending Daesh is not the end of violence. And, and the reason I say that, because we have more ingredients for violence today. And it, it's, as I said, it's revenge violence and local conflicts that, that are left behind. As USIP, we are working with the Iraqi government, the Kurdistan regional government, the United Nations, and the coalition to counter Daesh, who all do great work, to embark on this problem. There are three million Iraqi people who need to go home, and revenge and local conflict is a barrier that we need to address. Second, revenge, violence, and local conflict has the potential to give us a process that I usually call de daeshification or de ISISification, and by the I mean that is similar to the de bathification process that happened after 2003. The process to go after members of ISIS or perceived members of ISIS, oftentimes you'll find civilians there, could lead to a wider divide between the Sunnis and the Shia and the Sunni communities themselves this time. And this is a development. So all this may, may, may sound like a difficult task, but our work tells us that it is possible. Reconciliation is possible. And by reconciliation, I mean, getting people back to their homes and peacefully coexist.